very difficult game tonight. Florida State, uh, such a tough team, especially defensively, you know, to, to score against. They, you know, Leonard has, he's always had his team ready. And, um, you know, they, we didn't start out well. And, you know, our, our guys, our guys are, this is the second three game and six day stretch that we've had in a row. And uh, our, our guys are a little bit burned out. And, uh, and then they burn you out even more. You know, thank goodness that they responded to the stuff on the bench. And our, uh, Marshall gave us a huge lift in the first half, just a huge lift. Our guards, obviously, Quinn and Tyus played, uh, you know, they played big time games, you know, tonight. Uh, in the second half, we had that, we had about a 10 point lead and we had two or three exchanges where we got some amazing offensive rebounds and just mucked out some plays and kicked it out for some threes and uh, couldn't hit them. And, you know, we, that was the moment, you know, that one, two minutes there where you got a chance to knock out a really good team. And when we didn't, they almost knocked us out. You know, Berwick's two threes were huge. I mean, and so far out. And the second one he took, I thought, I thought he was checking in at the scores table. You know, he was, you know, he was really far out. And um, we called a timeout, and our guys, you know, my guys are tough and they fight, and we responded with a couple buckets and took control of the game. And then down the stretch. Uh, hitting some free throws, and then we handled uh, the taking of the foul twice very well. And uh, you never know how that's going to work out. And then uh, Matt Jones made a big time play with the charge. He just, he just put his body right in front of Brandon and saved two points, man. You know, and Matt, Matt's been playing great. He did not have a, a good game tonight, but then all of a sudden, you know, because the kid's a tough kid, he makes a you know, game winning play. So. Uh, we feel really good about our eighth win, and we're going to go home and get some rest. Mike, you talked about how unusual this game was for your team. You, you didn't score your first points until about six and a half minutes, and <clears throat> you led as many as 14, I think, in the second half and, and winning by three. Talk about the, this. The yeah, well, it, it, uh, there was it, a lot of it had to do with their defense. You know, uh, when we were able, when we scored more, when we got defensive rebounds and pushed it. Against their half court defense, we had a tough time scoring. Because they're big and they're you know, they're well really well coached. And uh, so it was kinda like that. That that's why that happened, I think. And uh, it makes it an unusual game. But a big win for us. You know, big just a really big win to get our eighth win. It's huge, you know. You know, I remember a couple week, few weeks ago. It seems like an eternity, but our guys went into Louisville two and two, and uh, since then we've played a lot of big time games, thousand wins, and all that stuff. My my team's been through the ringer, and uh, they've come out pretty well, you know, with uh, winning all but one of those games. So we need to get a little bit refreshed right now, and uh, and then we got another away game. Uh, at Syracuse will be tough, but we don't play until Saturday. I feel like that's kind of one of the big debates, you know, in college basketball when you're up three with like 10 seconds left, do you foul or not? And you obviously opted to. Well, Mark, we, what we did is we tried to get them to use a little bit of time in the backcourt. That's why we wanted to pressure the ball. A lot of times people don't pressure the ball. And we thought it was good to do that because then they have to come back and get it. And so if we could have, you know, kept them there for a little bit, then we might not have fouled, but we said if we can take a few seconds and then once they once they get past half court, we're going to take it. But take it while they're dribbling, not while they're shooting. And I, they really did a nice job of that. I mean, a, a, yeah, my, my team's a good team. They, you know, this is a, it's been a t uh, difficult time for them, but they, they responded well. Did you have an idea that they were going to try to miss that second free throw? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
they have a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we put all our big guys right. there. And talk about, I guess, talk about Quinn coming in and getting that rebound. That well, in that, the, the first time they missed it, they tr it looked like they were trying to get it back to the shooter. So, you know, you put your three big guys on the boards, and if you can't get it, hit it. <laughs> Just hit it. I, I remember a long time ago, we won the ACC regular season when Wojo was a senior, and they missed, and we just hit it, and then the game's over. But when it came out like that, and then Quinn has the, has the shooter. So that's where it went. And... Uh, um, thank goodness, yeah. As the refs continually allow a lot of contact in the post, do you change at all how you practice or kind of what you're trying to Well, we can't, you know, we can't beat them up in practice. I mean, I, I thought he got beaten up today, man. You know, it's not about him just, I mean, people are just grabbing him, man. You know, and then, well, he's, he's initiating, he's not initiating that contact, you know, I mean, uh, Anyway, I mean, you're right there in the end zone. You can you can see it, and he gets beat up a lot. He really gets beat up a lot, and then we're sitting with him on the, on the bench. It's kind of nuts. Coach, I don't know if this was asked earlier, but was it a part of your strategy to get Xavier where he came out of his game today? Well, to we try to put as much pressure. We trap screens, mm -hmm. you know, his ball screens and that to make it difficult, and then. You know, again, I don't know Leonard's substitution pattern or whatever, but you know, to be quite frank with you, they played pretty darn well when he was on the bench. Booker really, I thought, had a sensational game for them. Uh, and then, you know, I thought they responded with him on the bench. Booker was outstanding today. Not that he's not outstanding. Sometimes I tell my wife, "You're you're beautiful. I'm not beautiful every day." And, <laughs> you are beautiful every day. You're very considerate of me not telling you you're beautiful every day. You mentioned how you were just glad you guys escaped out here with the win, but just no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Looking at how you guys um, Wait, but just I want I did not say we were lucky to escape up for a win. I don't think I ever said that. I, I said 